once you define the set of integers we need to learn about odd and even integers so any number which is divisible by 2 clearly is called as even numbers other than that it is called as odd numbers there are eight numbers which divides 24 and when you add all these numbers you will get the value as 60. 1024 can be expressed as 2 to the power 10 so we have prime as 2 and the power of prime as 10. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is Yashruti Ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysore. Here we are in the first session and in this session, I am going to take up the new chapter, number theory, the very first chapter in the first PUC, Basic Mathematics. So let us see the weightage of the chapter for the year 23-24. So we know that in this year, they have introduced the multiple choice question for the first 20 marks. So you are attending your theory part for an 80 marks. So from the chapter number theory, MCQ, short answers, long answer, essay. So there will be one question on one marks. So that may be in the form of an MCQ that is an objective type question. One question for two marks and one question for five marks. So overall you can expect three questions in total of eight marks from this chapter. So topics for today's discussion is introduction to number system. That means we are going to study different types of number system. Fundamental theorem of arithmetic where you will learn how to represent a given number as a product of primes, sum of uh, primes numbers and the number of devices and the problems related to the concepts. Now the very first thing is the natural numbers. We know that accounting numbers are supposed to call as natural numbers. So the set which starts from 1, 2, 3 are called as natural number. It is denoted by capital N. Next the whole number. 0 along with the natural numbers are said to be whole number. So why the concept of 0 introduced? Because when we say there is nothing, mathematically we say it as 0. So the set which contains 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 denoted by W is called as whole numbers. The next thing is integers. The set of all positive, negative along with the 0 is called as the set of an integers and it is denoted by Z. So when we say Apart from counting, apart from saying nothing, that is the value as zero, we always use negative variables, for instance, in terms of temperature, minus 45 degrees Celsius. So also we also use in coordinate system as while well, denoting the point minus three comma minus two. So we need negative integers also. So therefore the set which contains all these numbers, call it as the integers, which is denoted by Z. Now, once you define the set of integers, we need to learn about odd and even integers. So any number which is divisible by two clearly is called as even numbers. Other than that, it is called as odd numbers. Now see here, odd and even integer. The integers one, three, five, seven are called as odd integers. The integers zero, two, four, six, minus two, minus four, six are called as even integers. Note here, 1, 2, 3, 4 are called as positive integers. The numbers with negative sign is called as negative number and 0 is neither positive nor negative. We always assume that it is neither even nor odd number but for some theoretical purpose we consider 0 as an even number. The next thing is prime numbers. An integer p which is greater than 1 is said to be a prime number if it has no other devices except one and itself. So if you consider the examples which I have taken here, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, other than one and other than itself, there is no number which divides 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, etc. So such type of numbers are called as prime numbers and the numbers which are not prime are called as composite numbers. Note here, 2 is the only even prime number because the number 2 divides all other even numbers. So therefore the only even prime number is 2 and prime numbers are always infinite. So there are many infinite number of primes. Next composite number as I said the integers which have common devices other than one and itself or nothing but composite number or simply we can say the number which is not prime is called as 
composite number. And remember always, 1 is neither prime nor composite number. Now, a composite number n has a divisor other than plus or minus 1 and plus or minus n. 0 and 1 are neither prime nor composite. Next, a very important concept called the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So, what does this fundamental theorem of arithmetic says? Any number can be expressed as a product of primes. So, uh, every composite number can be expressed as a product of prime and this composition or decomposition is unique here. So, clearly I have taken an example here, 35. So, the factors of 35 are 5 and 7. So, we can write it as 5 power 1 into 7 power 1. The prime factors of 24 is 2 cube into 3 power 1. How we will get? We will take 24 and we all go dividing with the help of prime numbers starting from the lowest prime. So, 2, 2 ones are 2. 2 2s are 4, 2 6s are 12, 2 3s are 6. Hence, I can write 24 as 2 cube into 3 power 1. Next, similarly, the prime factors of 28 are written in the form of 28 is equal to 2 square into 7 power 1. So, this is called as the prime factorization or canonical representation. So, this prime factorization is always unique for the given number. Now, the advantages of expressing this numbers in terms of prime factors helps us to find the number of positive devices of a number. That means for a given number, what are the number which divides the number? That means we are going to find the number of devices for a given number. And the second thing is we can add all those positive devices which gives you the sum of all positive devices of a number. Now, let n be a composite number. We know that any composite number can be expressed as a product of primes. So, for that, I will take p1, p2, pn as a factors of the number n and alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n represents the powers of the factors. For example, if you consider 24, 2 and 3 are the factors and 2 cube. So, here cube is alpha 1, 1 is alpha 2. So, this is your p1 alpha 1, p2 alpha 2. In the same way, if we consider for the number n, let the product be in this form. So, where p1, p2, p3, pn are the distinct primes and alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n represent the powers of the prime. Then, t of n. So, t of n denotes the number of positive divisors of n. That means, how many numbers divides the number n. So, that is given by 1 plus alpha 1 into 1 plus alpha 2 into 1 plus alpha n. For instance, consider 24. So, here alpha 1 is 3 and alpha 2 is 3. So, how many numbers divides 24? So, let us check with the help of the formula which can be written as 1 plus 3 into 1 plus 1 that is 4 into 2. So, there are 8 number which divides 24. Next is S of n denotes the sum of all positive devices of n. Then we have S of n. So, S of n means I told you there are 8 devices which divides 24. So, if you add those 8 devices, the sum is nothing but the sum of all positive devices of n. To calculate the sum of all positive devices of n, we have a formula P1 alpha 1 plus 1 minus 1 divided by P1 minus 1. P2 alpha 2 plus 1 minus 1 divided by P2 minus 1. Similarly, until the last prime numbers. Since I have taken an example of 24, we know that 24 is written in the form of 2 cube into 3 power 1. To calculate sum of positive devices of 24, I can write this as P1 which is 2 alpha 1 plus 1 means 3 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 using the formula. The next one is 3 1 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. So, 2 power 4 is 16, 16 minus 1 is 15 divided by 1 into 3 square is 9, 9 minus 1 is 8, 8 by 2 is 4. So, 15 fours are 16. So, if you add all the 8 devices which divides 24. So, what are the devices which divides 24? For example, 1 divides 24, 2 divides 24, 3 divides 24, 4 divides 24, 6 divides 24, 8 divides 24, 12 divides 24 and 24 divides 24. So, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So clearly, T of n, we got it as 8. So that means there are 8 numbers which divide 24. And when you add all these numbers, you will get the value as 60. So representing a given number in the form of prime factorization helps us to find the number of positive devices of n as well as the sum of positive devices of n. Now let us take few problems. Let us represent the canonical representation and then we find the number of devices and sum of devices. Give the canonical representation find the number of positive devices and the sum of all positive devices of the following number. The very first question is 360. First, let us find the prime factorization of 360. That means let us represent the canonical form of 360. So we always divide this by the smallest to find. Since this is an even number, we'll divide it by 2. So 2 ones are 2, 2 eights are 16, 2 zeros are 0. Next we have 2 nines are 80, 2 zeros are 0. 2 fours are 8, 2 fives are 10. 3 ones are 3, 3 fives are 15. 3 fives are 15. So clearly here 360 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2, 2 cube. 3 into 3, 3 square. And 5 is repeated 1 times. Now here P1 is equal to 2. Alpha 1 is equal to 3. P2 is equal to 3. Alpha 2 is equal to 2. P3 is equal to 5. Alpha 3 is equal to 1. Now we have already expressed the canonical representation. First, let us find the number of positive devices. That is T of n. We know that T of n is 1 plus alpha 1, 1 plus alpha 2, 1 plus alpha 3 and it goes on. Now since there are only three prime factors here, their powers is alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. So clearly here 1 plus alpha 1 means 1 plus 3, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 1. So we have 4 into 3 into 2. So 4 3s are 12, 12 2s are 24. So there are 24 numbers or the positive devices which divides 360. Next, let us calculate the sum of all the positive devices. That is S of n. So, which is given by P1 alpha 1 plus 1 minus 1 divided by P1 minus 1 into P2 alpha 2 plus 1 minus 1 divided by P2 minus 1 into P3 alpha 3 plus 1 minus 1 divided by P3 minus 1. Now clearly we know what is P1, P2, P3, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. Let us substitute here. So we have 2, 3 plus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 into 3, 2 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 into 5, 1 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 5 minus 1. So here we have 15 by 1 into so 3 cube 27, 27 minus 1 is 26 divided by 2. Next we have 5 square 25, 25 minus 1 is 24 by 4. So 2 ones are, 2 thirteens are, 4 ones are, 4 six are. So the value is 15 into 13 into 6. So the sum of devices is 1170. Next question. We have 1024. So let's divide 1024 here. If you go on dividing, 2 5s are 10, 1s are 2s are. Next 2 2s are 4, 2 5s are 10, 2 6s are 12, 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 8s are 16, 2 6s are, 2 4s are, 2 3s are, 2s are, 2 1s are, 2 6s are, 2 8s are, 2 fours are, 2 twos are. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So therefore, 1024 can be expressed as 2 to the power 10. So we have prime as 2 and the power of prime as 10. Now the sum of devices is 1 plus alpha 1, which is 1 plus 10 is equal to 11. So the number of devices which divides 1024 is 11. Let's take the sum of numbers or the sum of positive devices which is P1 
alpha 1 plus 1 minus 1 divided by p1 minus 1 which is 2 power 10 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 which is 2 power 11 minus 1. So, 2048 minus 1 is 2047. Since the denominator is 1, it is 2047. Next question, 672. Let's divide this. It is an even number. Let's start dividing by 2. 2 3s are 6. 2 3s are 6. 1 carry. 2 6s are 12. 2 1s are 2. 1 carry. 2 6s are 12. 1 carry. 2 8s are 16. 2 8s are 16. 2 4s are 8. 2 4s are 8. 2 2s are 4. 2 2s are 4. 2 1s are 2. 3 7s are 21. So we have 672 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 power 5, 3 power 1, 7 power 1. Now, T of n is 1 plus alpha 1, 1 plus alpha 2, 1 plus alpha 3. So, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. So, 1 plus 5, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 which is 6 into 2 into 2. So, which is equal to 24. So, there are 24 number which divides 672. Now, let us calculate the sum of the devices. S of n is equal to P1 alpha 1 plus 1 minus 1 divided by P1 minus 1 into P2 alpha 2 plus 1 minus 1 divided by P2 minus 1 into P3 alpha 3 plus 1 minus 1 divided by P3 minus 1. Now here, so we have P1 alpha 1 as 2, 5. So 2 power 5 plus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1. Next we have 3, 1 plus 1 minus 1 by 3 minus 1. Next 5 to the power 1 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 5 minus 1. So 2 power 6 is 64. 64 minus 1 is 63. 3 square is 9, 9 minus 1 is 8 by 2, 24 by 4. So, 2 1s are, 2 4s are, 4 1s are, 4 6s are. So, we have 63 into 4 into 6. So, the value is 1512. So, this is the sum of all positive devices of the given number. So, in this session, we have learnt how to express the canonical representation and to find the number of positive devices as the sum of positive devices using fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Next, we will find out the sum of devices which is given by P1 alpha 1 plus 1 minus 1 divided by P1 minus 1 into P2 alpha 2 plus 1 minus 1 divided by P2 minus 1 into P3 alpha 3 plus 1 minus 1 divided by P3 minus 1. So, which is equal to 2 power 5 plus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 into 3 power 1 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 into 7 power 1 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 7 minus 1. So, here 2 power 6 is 64 minus 1 63 by 1. So, 3 square 9, 9 minus 1 8 by 2, 49 minus 1 is 48 by 6. So, 4 is 8s are. So, we have 63 into 4 into 8. So, which is equal to 2060. Thus, in this session, we have learned how to find the canonical representation and how to find the sum of devices as well as the positive devices of the given numbers. I will meet you in the next session. Until then, keep watching, keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.